Hello everyone. In last session we have solved some problems based on error function. Our next problem is show that derivative of error function of root t is equal to this and hence we are going to evaluate this using this derivative. Okay. So to start with I need to first of all figure out what must be this. Right. So let's start with the definition of error function. Error function definition is 2 upon root pi 0 to x e raised to minus u square du right using this definition I am going to figure out f of error function of root t so for here I am going to substitute x is equal to root t right so substituting x is equal to root t what I have 2 over root pi 0 to x is root t so upper limit is root t now and e raised to minus u square d right now what we need to figure out derivative of this with respect to t so to find out derivative of this with respect to t I need to use duis rule 2 Leibniz rule 2 why because this upper limit is nothing but function of t that means these two are functions of t so since functions are as a upper limit we are going to uh, use uh, rule 2 here right so using rule 2 duis rule 2 what we have derivative with respect to t this is given by 2 over root pi as a constant so it will be multiplied to every part so this is 0 to root t derivative with respect to t of e raised to minus u square du plus evaluating this function at root t so that is e raised to minus root t square is just t into derivative with respect to t of root t minus lower limit evaluating at a point 0 so that means e raised to 0 is nothing but 1 into derivative of 0 with respect to t is 0 so last term is clearly 0 the next thing we are just going to simplify this right so this is 2 over root pi multiply by whole thing right now since t is absent in this term it is independent of t so that means derivative of this is going to be 0 since with respect to t u is just a constant so e raised to minus u square is constant so derivative of this is equal to 0 so first term 0 then last term is also 0 we are remaining with second term what is second term 2 over root pi multiplied by e raised to minus t into derivative of root t is 1 over root t 2 to get cancel what remains e raised to minus t this is root pi into root t and that's it right now using this result what we are going to prove the 0 to infinity e raised to minus t into erf of root t we need to evaluate this term right so clearly to evaluate this term i am going to use u into v rule so what i need to evaluate 0 to infinity e raised to minus t into error function of root t right clearly since i know what is derivative of this now i am going to this use this for integration and uh, derivative and this for integration so let's try to apply uv rule here applying apply uv rule right so what i have error function of t root t take it outside and into integration 0 to infinity of e raised to minus t dt minus 0 to infinity derivative with respect to t of error function of root t into integration of e raised to minus t dt and whole dt right so this is equal to error function of root t into e raised to minus t and this is with negative sign and this is 0 to infinity minus 0 to infinity 
derivative this is given by this term that is e raised to minus t root pi into root t into that integration of e raised to minus t is minus of e raised to minus t so this that minus and this minus become plus now when i substitute upper limit here upper limit is infinity e raised to minus infinity is zero so this term becomes zero when i'm substituting zero here error function of zero is zero again so this whole term is zero let's go to next term this is i can write it as root pi outside zero to infinity e raised to minus 2t into t raised to half minus half dt right now if i try to compare this with the definition of gamma function i know proper one property of gamma function what is that property gamma function is integration 0 to infinity e raised to minus kx into x to the power n minus 1 dx this is given by gamma of n divided by k to the power n i am going to use simply this property try to compare this property with his the value of k is 2 here and value of n is going to be add 1 to this power so value of n is half so what is it equal to gamma of half divided by root pi as it is this root pi and into k to the power n so that is 2 to the power n is half so gamma of half, half is root pi so root pi divided by this into root 2 so answer is 1 by root 2 so answer for this is 1 by root 2 and this is the proof